Hey, I'm Will with Cover Mats. I'm going to be taking a look at First Rat Day. This is a game published by Pegasus Spiel and designed by Gabrielle Asielio and Virginio Gigli. Uh, in it, we are racing to become rat ratronauts. Essentially, we are in rice, very much like a Secret of Nim kind of style of rats who have learned that there is cheese in the moon. And with our limited knowledge, we are attempting to assemble a rocket ship out of pop bottles and baking soda to send us to the moon to enjoy this cheese. The first player to accumulate the most points by contributing the most towards building the rocket ship, as well as training up ratronauts, will be the winner of the game. So I will give you a teach of how to play the game. I'll show you how to play the solo. I'll go through the entire solo playthrough, and then I will give my review at the end. So well, let's begin. Okay, here we have the game set up for our solo game, but setting up for different players is very much the same. What you're gonna do is you're gonna look at each of the tracks and there will be a little stop sign there telling you to place a gray cube if your player count is shown on that, that game. So, um, you know, this kind of reduces the amount of things available uh, for lesser player counts and opens it up for more player counts. The opposite side of the board has some randomization tokens so you can change the layout of the board as well as the scoring on the various tracks. So if you want a little bit more variability, you can flip over to the other side and use all these tokens and match them up randomly with the letters in order to set up a random scenario. We've got some end game scoring condition and bottle caps. We have some backpacks that will allow us to collect more goods and some comic books for some fun upgrades. And then of course our rats. So the objective is to move your rats along and collecting resources in order to, you know, achieve the various tracks and things. You can ignore the yellow cubes these are part of the single player setup, and I'll explain that in the solo player section. So, on your turn is very simple. Airway has one of these little cards that very concisely explains really what you have to do in the game. Either you are gonna move one rat, one to five spaces, and then take the action on the space he lands on, or you will move as many of your rats as you want up to three spaces, so one to three spaces, and with the exception that each rat you moved has to land on the same color location. So you may only be able to move, you know, two or three rats at a time, but then you will get to activate each of those locations. Of course, you can also only have one rat of your color on the same place at the same time, and if you land on any, any number of places that has, or if you end up on any places that have other rats, you have to pay those players one cheese for each rat that is on those spaces. So, you know, if you share multiple purples, you will have to pay purple multiple times. Uh, and vice versa too. And when they land on your rat, they have to pay you cheese. So you'll be traveling around the board, you know, one, two, three, four, five, pay a cheese and so on. Then you will collect. So collecting you is going to be based on the symbols. And uh, normally all your rats will start off at the beginning here, but for solo, we have some purple rats starting up kind of higher up the chain here. And uh, which I might switch for some brighter colors. They're not looking very bright in the camera. So um, as I said, so you, as you collect resources, you will be gaining various things to build your rocket ship, as well as more cheese, which can be used, again, either to pay other players or to provision your ship. When you have enough resources to turn in, based on these recipes, like a can of peas and two calculators, for example, you can immediately trade that in on your turn or trade in as many things as you require to hand in those recipes. And then you'll take one of your scoring cubes and place it on the first available spot. This is going to award you that many points at the end of the game. And you'll notice that, of course, the blocking cubes will reduce the number of spots available for lower player counts. And the last section has a larger open space 
where any number of cubes can exist, except they're just going to achieve the lowest amount of points for doing that. And so we have three different segments of rocket ship. And if you have one cube in each, you'll gain one cube in the completed rocket ship track. If you are able to achieve another set, you will achieve another rocket ship track. Now you can also at any time spend 10 cheese to go on to the provision track by placing a cube there. And I'll explain what the other tracks are as we get to what the different actions do. But the game will end when either one player has all of their rats all the way to the end, in which case they will bump onto the Ratronaut track and get points there, but then they are locked there. So one player has all four of their rats, they will uh, and trigger the end of the game and you will finish the round and then do any kind of final scoring that is required. Uh, you know, I'd basically just add up your score. Okay, however, if instead a player is able to put out all but two of their cubes, that will trigger a different style ending of the game, so where you will finish the round and then play one more complete round. So, let's see what some of the different things do. So the orange and green spaces are mostly for collecting the basic resources used to build a rocket ship. The yellow spaces let you acquire cheese, and you'll see that there are more icons the higher you get up, meaning you will collect more and more cheese. The light bulb space is going to move the light bulb down the light track. So this orange thing here represents, this little light bulb symbol represents your light bulbs. And you'll be following the blue electrical wire, starting at the battery, down onto each of the light bulbs. For each light bulb you gain, you'll move another space. You know, jump over here. And what this does is it increases your ability to gather goods at those locations. So if I was to land on a spot that is uh, at or behind my light, I will be able to pick up one additional item of whatever it is that that thing is giving me. So the further you get up that track, the more resources you'll be collecting. Now, as soon as you hit one of these orange construction lights, you'll be able to place a cube in the construction light track here for points. It is possible for one player to achieve as much as three because there are three construction lights if they are able to get that far. So that could be something you want to go for. Uh, next, we will look at the apple cores. Apple cores help feed your burrow. You have what it looks like a top-down viewed rat token at the bottom here. And this track goes around cyclically in a clockwise manner. And uh, it's hard to see in the camera, but there are little arrows at each kind of node directing uh, where your choices are, where you can go. So say for example, if I got seven apple cores, I can move one, two, three, four, and then I have to decide whether I want to keep going down a track or start going back up. So maybe let's keep going. Five, and at this point, maybe I want to go up. Six, seven. Okay, so I've just moved seven spaces. And because I passed the entrance to the rats, I will unlock another rat. If you go past the entrance where the food storage is, you'll gain a cube on the apple core storage track. And of course, if you go past what I like to call the library, you'll gain a comic book. These comic books give you a permanent special ability uh, that do lots of neat things. There's a bunch of them in the box and there's a handy guide. Uh, there's also some books that have, you know, a fun little character who essentially goes on the back here and transforms your, your rat into a, a special rat. So there's a handful of those in the box too, and you randomly choose some going up. All right, so now let's look at shortcuts. So we have some tunnels here that you may pass through if you pay the resource required, and you can continue your movement. There's also some special abilities that allow you to go through tunnels, like this one allows you to pass through uh, the green colored tunnel without paying anything. Uh, and then we, have, uh, then we have the different shops. So there are three shops on the board, 
uh, and there's arrows leading from those spots. This shows where you may purchase from. So if a rat ends in that area, you can purchase a thing from those shops. Uh, the backpacks, once you have that in your collection, that means that you will gain extra based on the number of those things, but only once per collection phase. So say I have a plus two light bulb. So no matter how many light bulbs I've, I'm collecting from however many different locations, I will gain two additional light bulbs if I own that backpack. Then further up here, we have the uh, Zippy the Frog with a energy drink, caffeine. So what this does is you'll, you'll hold on to that and at some point you like, you can trade that in to double all things that have been gained on that one, on one turn. So that can be quite powerful if you're able to move a lot of things at once. And lastly, all the way up here, uh, for the 12 cheese, you can buy one of these ball caps that will give you additional in-game scoring. Like, for example, uh, an additional four points per Ratronaut. So these can be quite powerful for a lot of extra score. Now, in any one of these three shops, you might decide you don't have enough cheese, you know, or maybe you don't want to spend the cheese. You can actually steal from that shop. Uh, now, uh, you know, I do not recommend uh, stealing in real life, but in this game, it is part of the rules. So you can actually steal an item, but your rat scurries all the way back home. If that happens. If you were to pay for the item normally, you would just keep going. So you could grab something for free, head back. Uh, maybe you want to come back so that you can keep moving multiple rats at once, or maybe you want to pay so you can keep going closer to the end of the game. Now, once your rats reach the end, there is a final spot that counts as a wild spot. So any, so any it'll match of any color that you are also moving on to. And this spot, you have a choice. You can either unlock another rat or you can grab one of these three point tokens to score at the end of the game. Now, if you have placed your last free rat uh, into the rat not track, you have to take the rat unlock option. You cannot leave yourself with no rats. We also have moldy cheese. So moldy cheese cannot be taken on purpose. I'm trying to see it there. Cannot be taken on purpose. You can only take it if you are trying to pay another player and don't have enough cheese. And what you'll do is you'll take a moldy cheese along with one of the three point, the three cheeses stuck together items or, or three separate cheeses, but it's basically it's worth three cheese. And this is gonna be stuck with you. You have no way to get rid of it. It's worth negative two points at the end of the game. Uh, remember you can only take it if you have to pay and you, uh, a player and you cannot. So you are not able to just grab a bunch of those in exchange for uh, rock, a, a, a battle ball cap, for example. Okay, now on for the soul player. So based on your difficulty level you, you choose before playing, there is uh, two sets of decks. There's an A deck and a B deck, and you'll randomly select a bunch of those. You will include the C deck as well. And what you're gonna do is uh, on the Ratronauts, uh, or on the, the Robo Rats turn, you are gonna flip over a card from your shuffle together deck based on your difficulty level, and you're gonna be given instructions on what to do. So you'll see that the AI rat has some, uh, or the robo rat already has some starting on position on the board. They also uh, will have just a handful of cubes set aside and they do not need their rat token or their light token. And there's also these yellow tokens I've put out, uh, which I mean could be any unused player color. So when you flip over a card, you are gonna move rats based on their position. So the top number will be the furthest ahead rat. So in this case, the first rat will move zero, second rat will move zero, third rat will move two, and the fourth rat will move two. So let's go one, two, one, two. Now, uh, you, if you have to ever pay the AI cheese, you just return to the supply. If the, if the robo rat lands on one of your rats, you get to take cheese from the supply. The uh, rubber rats may also break rules like um, distances moved or 
Um, they can have multiple rats in the same location. Uh, they don't follow the standard rules. And then you also look at what symbol matches, and you will advance the cube on the track that matches. So, and how this works is the cubes on each track are have two states that what they can be they can be shown in. So first they have off the icon, and then they have on the icon. So the first time you reveal the card, you'll place it from off to the on position. And the next split time you reveal the same card, you will flip it back to the, to the off position, but then add a cube in the most valuable spot. So that way, kind of like every other time, the rats or the AI rats are going to gain a cube. Uh, and the last final one that might need to have a little bit of confusion is you will place it on this track where the rover rat stands to gain the most number of points. And this one is you ran, randomly remove a comic book from the supply. Also, anytime one of the rats lands on one of the shops, you will have to randomly remove one of those items from, from the board. And uh, again, you just keep playing until the same end game conditions hold true. Uh, and then tally up the points of both you and AI and see who wins. Uh, and now also, at the end of the game, you will gain uh, one point for every four items uh, of combined cheese and resources. So don't forget that as well. Okay, we are ready to begin. I've switched out the rats for the robo rats with the blue ones, just because it's a little bit easier to see on the camera. And let's begin. So I'm gonna take the first turn. Uh, I have no rats currently on the board. So I should probably go ahead and move them. And now, do I have a master plan? I don't know if I'm that far ahead. So let's just, uh, let's go get some cheese. So, oh yeah, and I start off with one cheese because I'm first player. And let's put this up here. So I'm gonna collect one cheese from here. Okay, now it's the AI's turn. And let's see, he is going to move, oh, it's first rat, three, one, two, three, and a zero, and then one, two, and then zero. And he is gonna take the cube onto that symbol. Okay, and now let's see here. Let's go uh, one, two, three, one, two. So I'm going to pay him a cheese, but then I'm going to get two cheese back. Oops, sorry, I got to set my light bulb back here. Uh, okay, then we're going to move zero. One, two, one, two, three, and then zero. And he's going to discard a comic book, which I'm supposed to do at random. I might, might just have to leave these face down so I can look at which one I want what I'm going to get, and it's the discounted purchase. Okay. Back to me. I've got two rats on the board now. Uh, and some cheese. I could go for the orange items, maybe. So let's go one, two, and one. Pay a cheese, and I'm going to get a soda pop, a pop and a baking soda. And then let's see here, he's going to move one, one, two, um, zero, and then one, two. And he is going to be removing the item oops, from the shop, which same thing, I'm going to have to do, do these randomly. Okay. And now it's my turn to move. Let's see, do I have enough cheese? I was hoping to get some apples going. I think I may be just have enough. One, two, one, two, three. So I'm gonna have to pay two cheese. And that's gonna give me one, two, three apples. One, two, three. And um, I think I'm, I'm gonna steal before they're all gone. I don't have any cheese left. So I'm gonna steal, maybe I'll get the uh, the plus cheese backpack. So like, you know what? Um, no, I'm gonna get the light bulb. 
because I'm pretty well set for light bulbs next round if I can hopefully help it. All right, so we have one, zero, one, two. That's not good for me. And then one, two. I was really hoping you wouldn't move on to light track because I don't have anywhere to get cheese right now. I was really hoping to land on that light bulb. Oh, well, that's too bad. So let's go one, two, three, one. Grab another pop and soda. And then next one, one, two, three, one, two, and one. They still haven't landed on me at all. Oh, you want to open? Oh, no, I have not been forgetting things. Okay, so he's going to move the apple track over. And I guess I could do light bulbs now. So we'll go there. I have no cheese still. Okay. Well, this is going to give me four light bulbs. One, two, three, four, which is not bad. And he's moving zero, zero, two, two. And he's going to progress the cheese provision track. And I think it might be time to get some more apples. One, two, three, and one. So there's three apples. One, two, three. And I'm thinking I'm going to grab an upgrade. Oh, let's see. I could move my mice an additional one if I'm moving multiples. I could land on green or orange uh, can interchangeably. Uh, oh, there's the, the special Ratronaut. Oh, I don't have to pay a cheese for sharing a location. That could be good. I think I might, just for the flexibility, I think I'm going to take the added movement. Uh, I think that will be a good one. And do I want to steal from this shop? No, I don't think I will right now. Okay, next we have two, zero, one and one. Oh, and he's going to go ahead and he's going to put a cube on the rocket on the uh, the shuttle, the, the, not the shuttle, the um, place where they have the, the Ratronauts actually go in, <laughs> whatever it's called. Uh, okay, I, I still have no cheese. I need to go get some cheese. Yeah, I think so, huh? Well, this is uh, not the greatest move. So let's go one, two, and just take two cheese because I have to be able to pay him if I want to go anywhere at this point. Okay, so zero, one, two, three, one, and one. And he's going to steal another comic book. And he's going to grab the mighty rat, the Ratronaut guy who's, who's real, really fast running. Uh, which is too bad. I was kind of hoping I was going to get that one later. And uh, now let's go up. Let's go apples again. One and one, two, three. So that's three, four, five apples. One, two, three, four, five. And that's going to lock my new rat. And uh, I don't think it's worth stealing at this point. Uh, okay. Robo rats, where is where you, where's that? One, two, three, zero, one, zero. Advanced the construction light. And uh, now I think it's time to go get some more light bulbs. So we're gonna go two here, one here. Because of where my light is, I get a bonus. So this is two and two. So I get, so that's four plus two more. So that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's quite a bit. And uh, do I want to steal? No, I don't think I'm going to. Uh, okay. Robo rat. One, two. He's going fast. One, one, one. And he's going to bump this over. I don't know if I can keep up with them. Uh, okay, let's go. I got some cheese. One, one, two, and one. 
So this is two, three, four, five, and because my light six. So it's six, six cheese, but I'm gonna have to pay one because I'm sharing a location here. And then I'm thinking I might go ahead and spend the seven for the pop can. And we'll see what that gets me. Uh, okay. All right, next he's going one, 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 two. And he's going to place wherever he has the lowest. Oh, he's just gonna, yeah, he's just gonna place a cube. Uh, and where he's gonna get the most points of me. So he's gonna get the most points here. And then shuffle. Okay. What am I thinking here? Light bulbs, maybe? One, two, one, two, three. So that's three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there is one cube for me on the construction light track. Okay, he is going zero, one, two, three, one, one, and he's gonna just discard a comic book. And uh, boy, yeah, he's really zipping ahead faster. What can I combo? I could do green, 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 green. So he would get me one of these, a tin can, and two hops. And uh, this might be a good time to use my doubler. So I'm going to use my my tin can, my uh, energy drink doubler. So I'm going to collect it again. So there's another soda, another tin can, uh, and two more of these. And now I think it's time to trade some things in. So where is he not right now? He's not. So the tin can, the two tin cans and the three baking sodas, I think I'm gonna trade that one in. Since he doesn't have a cube there, there's still a decent valued spot. Okay, next he's gonna go one, zero, one, two, one, two. And he's gonna clear off both a pop and a random one of these, ooh. Can't remember whether I, I did that earlier or not or whether I was supposed to. Okay, he's taking the uh, no contribution <laughs> spot, which is pretty funny. Uh, since it's worth, it's worth 12 points, but you lose two points per cube you have in the various rocket ship parts. So it's like, you don't want to participate in the building, uh, which is fine. Now, I think I might get some apples again. Ooh, or maybe light bulbs. Um, apples is probably the easiest. One, two, one, so three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. All right, he's going one, two, one, 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 and he is going to unload that one and place a cube. And let's see, I need, oh. I think that maybe got mixed in. I never got a calculator. Uh, okay, I, I definitely could use more of those bottles. Am I close to cheese? Not really. More light bulbs? Yeah, we have light bulbs. Light bulbs, light bulbs. Light bulbs, I gotta pay him cheese. Oh, I don't have the cheese. Ah, okay, where was I? I was here, here, and here. Um, yeah. 
I don't know if I forgot to do that earlier or not. Uh, so let's move up here, up there and there. So we're gonna grab two more of these, a calculator, and then our tin can. Is there anything we can trade in for this? No, not yet. Okay. Oh, he's racing the end. Three, zero, one, zero, and he's going to take a spot on the construction light track. And I still need to get that cheese. He's not going. He's not moving off the cheese. I guess I can move fast farther. I keep forgetting that. Two, three, four, one. So that's uh, four, five, six, seven. Jeez. Okay, uh, here we have, um, let's see, he, most of his guys have left already. Move to position. Oh, you add it up. Okay. So if the rat's already on the rocket ship, you add up the rest. So he goes two, three, four, um, and then two, and then one. That's nasty. He's going to get moving really fast here. I'm going to have to book it. Uh, okay, let's do maybe apples here. Apples, there's cheese for that one. Apples, apples. So that's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And put my cube on the apple track. Okay, so he's going zero, zero, two, two, and he's going to place a cube on a cheese donation. And now let's see what kind of damage can I do here. I got, I got a ton of resources and I have no way to trade them in. So let's, let's get some stuff here. I can move four technically. I don't know that helps me. Let's do, is there anywhere I can do calculators? No, not this time. Oh, maybe. One, two, three. One, pay the soda, two, three. One, two, three. And then, so I'm gonna get a can, a calculator, and two of these. So now, we can trade in two baking sodas and five pop bottles for a cube on this track here, which is already pretty full. Uh, and then we're gonna trade in two, oh no, I don't have enough. Oh wait, hold on, yeah. One, one tin can, two calculators. Yep, 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 yep. And put a cube in here. And now I have a complete rocket ship so I'll get a cube up there. Okay, so the next guy is gonna move two. Uh, two, uh, and then one. You know what, I keep forgetting to get cheese from him landing on me. You know why, that's, that's something I keep forgetting. And then load that up. I'm sure someone in the comments is gonna, is gonna figure that out. <laughs> Okay, what am I going here for? I need to get some in-game scoring. I need to get some cheese. So let's go. One, two, one, two, three, one. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight cheese. Nine, 10, 11, 12. And let's grab one of these things. 
What have I got most of? Leftover resources? Two points. Oh, that's per upgrade. I only have two upgrades. Oh no, I guess I'll have three, because I'll have one of these, a backpack, and a bottle. So that'd be six points. I could have two Ratronauts by the end of the game, so that would be eight. Two in here, not likely. And the Apple cores. Again, not likely at this point. So let's... Six points for the upgrade, or maybe eight points for the Ratronauts. Let's grab the Ratronaut one. Billy Down might be the best. Assuming I could even get two guys up there before the end. You know what? I'm, I don't think I'm going to be able to. I think he's going to snatch it from me. Because he's going to start moving faster and faster. So let's take um, for the upgrades. Oh, I don't like those. I can move a lot of light track spots. That would be eight points for the light track. So let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, all right. So he's going to move. This guy's going to move zero, and this guy's going to move five. So he's all the way up there. Uh, and then he's going to discard a comic book, sure, whatever. And this might be my last turn because he's going to add up the movements for everything else. So I'm going to have to the book it. So I'm going to go, I'm going to dunk two guys at once. So one, one, two, three. And take two of those, two of those nuts, uh, and then light bulb, light bulb. So that's one, two, three, uh, seven, eight, nine. Let's see, is that enough? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's not enough. That may have been the wrong choice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, maybe not enough. Probably should have gone for something else. Oh well, okay. Let's see, maybe we'll get lucky and he won't move very far. One, 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 and two. So he's gonna move five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh oh, he's still got one, one space left and he's gonna take whatever track has the most points left on it. Uh, so there's a six there. All right, now what can I do? I could just get cheese and contribute cheese for six points. Uh, so four, five, six, seven. So I could do that. That's worth six points. I don't think I can get the light bulb spot anymore. So I kind of failed that. Uh, backpacks, not worth it. Uh, I can move just one guy five. One, two, three, four, five, four, five. No. I could do apples. So three plus four, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, oh, it's one away from getting me to the top of the track. That's just not enough. I think I am losing this. Um, okay, if I get, what can I get here? I can get a calculator and a soda thing. That gives me nothing. Uh, I could get a tin can, no, okay. I think my best bet is just the cheese. I mean, really? So one, two, three, one, two. Uh, so there is four, five, six, seven cheese, and I had to trade in my last three for a cube over here. And then the AI is going, and yeah, he's moving five spaces right to the end. So that is it. He certainly blasted the head there at full speed. I will have to say faster than a human player would do. So time to add up some points. So we have Will, it's me. And we have the Robo Rat. All right, Rocket Ship, we have five points for me. We have uh, five and eight. 
for here, we have eight and six. Uh, we have uh, whoa, 16 and five. Uh, seven and six. Oops, I wrote those in the wrong spots. Um, seven and six. Ratronauts, yeah, he's going a lot. 10, 17, uh, plus 12. So that's uh, 32. Ugh. And I only got two there, so it's 12. Uh, the light track is... Uh, the nine for me, five for him. The cores, oh, you know what, that's the wrong cube. I put the, I did the core. So it's seven for me, zero, and then four points for that, six points for those, and then one, two, three, four, so one point for that. All right, well, let's add that up and uh, head back up for my review. And that was first rat. So, uh, as you can see, um, I mean, really, you're just moving up multiple tracks, changing resources for things. So, let's uh, give my review. Uh, we'll break it down by um, kind of different aspects of the game, and, uh, and then also look at the solo AI, and uh, you know, what I felt about it. Uh, so, first of all, components. Uh, components are quite nice. The, the art is weird, you know, um, these, like, anthropomorphic rat world things, and that you know, almost cute kind of way, but it's it's well drawn. The art is nice. The board, while there's a fair amount going on, it is still pretty clear what the actual spaces are and do. Uh, you know, like the art is definitely well done and cohesive and, uh, you know, the components are nice. It's all cardboard chits, but, you know, you, they do look fun, right? You're picking up little calculators and soda bottles and you're just imagining the rats are all scrambling together to cobble together this ship that they think will take them in, them into space. Uh, you know the uh, you know the wooden pieces are nice. Wooden cubes are you know your standard cubes uh, and upgrades and things. I do like. I know this is silly, but I do like how you can slot your little special character token into the back there if uh, if you picked up one of those upgrades. Uh, you know cards are you know decent. You know they're Restart cars. So, uh, I mean, overall, like the art and design is quite good. The iconography is very clear, and uh, there's also very little of it. And if you do need to look up anything special, like the comic books are probably the most likely reason. Uh, there is a separate guide that has completely clear examples of what everything does and how it works. Uh, in terms of complexity, the rules overhead is fairly light. Uh, it's pretty simple to explain how to play the game. The uh, Your little player board here really does cover everything you need to know to kind of remember turn by turn on what to do. Uh, you know, the actual, like, the movement is easy to explain, changing your resources and cubes. It, it makes sense, and I think the... The theme, while silly, kind of helps that race aspect and that collection aspect, rats scurrying around grabbing stuff. So I think that that lends itself well towards towards explaining the game. Uh, you know, the special abilities and things and stuff all are pretty simple to grasp. Uh, and it is, it is, it really makes it a, a, a lighter weight game in terms of grasping the, the, how, the how to play and the rules. But there is quite a bit of of thinkiness and of complexity in the actual actions, especially at the higher player counts, moving multiple rats at once so that they land uh, on matching colors and things uh, is not always intuitive at first. It will take a little bit of, kind of brain stretching to get used to that, especially when you have to factor in paying cheese to other players. And if there's multiple other players in that spot, you gotta pay them cheese too. But of course, uh, you're going to get cheese in, in kind for other players jumping on your spots as well. Uh, and I'm, I'm sure I forgot during our, the play <laughs> to uh, take cheese from the AI, but he should have given me some cheese. You know, whatever. And, uh, you know, I, it's uh, so there's definitely some, some more length and um, replayability and the thinkingness. So you do still feel like you've played a decently sized Euro game in a, in a fairly short amount of length. 
I do like, uh, as for variability, there are a whole separate, there's a whole separate bag of locations that are labeled by letters for you to randomize, but still properly balanced the, uh, the other side of the board. And there's separate scoring tokens that you place over the scoring objectives to change what they're worth, meaning that every game is a little bit different. Uh, you know, I like that there are, um, you know, different upgrades and different backpacks and things available each time you play. The players are going to act differently. The AI really does rush things and make it runs incredibly fast through this game, uh, which makes the nice, fast, light, you know, fast solo game. Uh, but your play with human players may vary and may take a lot longer because people are slowly plodding along or stealing things and going back. Uh, you know, I've seen games where people are constantly going up and grabbing things and returning to kind of build up their engine. So you have to kind of pace yourself based on what other players are doing. And uh, and that's that's pretty important in terms of the flow of the game is just gauging that, that speed and what people are doing. <clears throat> I do like that. Also, you can achieve things in multiple ways, right? Like you can race around the track to unlock your rats or get upgrades. You know, or you just race to the end and then get another rat and race him to the end and so on. Uh, you know, there's some variability of that. You can bump up your light tracks with each of your, your lower level movements are more and more meaningful. So it may, you know, behoove you to stay back and steal things so you can take advantage of that. Uh, you know, and compound it. And that, uh, you know, can definitely be a strategy too. Uh, I even like that if there is the right kind of setup here, especially if you get something like the 12 pointer and losing two points per contribution, you can win the game without ever contributing to the rocket ship. <laughs> you could like, just by focusing on, on the rats and the cheese and the light track and their astronauts and stuff, you can get more than enough points and completely ignore the, the building of the rocket ship. Or you can go all in and build everything and have multiple completed rocket ships for, for points. So there's like, there's a lot of different things you can do in that too. Uh, so, uh, you know, as far as uh, what my, 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 you know, my different friend groups thought of this game, some of them loved it, some of them not so much. Uh, you know, I think it is a, uh, is a good solo game. I think it is a, a good gateway plus kind of game if you're looking for, uh, you know, a next step board game. Um, but overall, I do really enjoy it. It's, uh, I think it is definitely worth a try for, for many gamers, I think, are going to enjoy this. Uh, it is not a super thematic experience, so if you're looking for something with more story and whatnot, you're not going to get that here. But uh, in terms of like what's essentially a, a race and a resource collection game, this really does hit a lot of good points, and I do give this a good, strong recommendation. Uh, if you like games of that sort, and uh, you know, I think it's gonna it's gonna last my collection for uh, for a good while. So uh, I'm Will. Thank you for watching uh, Car Carbormet, and uh, we'll see you next time.